And I have no sources to confirm that. It's just a theory that I crafted in my head. He plays Falco. <laughs> Falco versus Ness. Um, okay. So, Ness, we see it. we've seen a bunch of Ness in uh, tournament here. Not a ton of Falco. We do have a Falco that does play at a Spectrum Smash named Reggie. Um, who does a lot of the stuff that, you know, Falco is known for up tilt, um, up tilt into some of his, uh, upward aerial combos. Yeah. And up his Game & Watch. I forgot he was originally a Game & Watch main, but he plays both. Oh. My, my mistake. I, I probably should have listed, probably should have listed that fourth and out front, but Dark Matter, of course, recently eighth, uh, in the state of New Jersey for the first ever Ultimate PR. Yeah, there is a, uh, Dark Matter is the one playing Ness here, and Kofi is the Game & Watch. Yes. And Kofi is pretty much already a kill percent. Yeah. Ba back though, kill percent, I should say. Because uh, uh, Game & Watch, one of the lightest characters in the entire game. Smashville, one of the smallest stages in the entire game in terms and of our rule set. This, this is going to do it. Oh, Barely wow. towards the corner, never mind. Wow. That was very solid DI there. But that's exactly what DM was going for there. And that's what he's going to continue to look for. Uh, another one will definitely do it here. And yeah. he's... Oh, he's chasing him down. We see that happen a lot. Higher percentages. Ness will just chase you across the stage to try to get that back throw. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to wind up doing it right there. I mean, you see Dark Matter already. Dark Matter already hitting uh, Kofi out of his forward airs. Is the L smash oh. not going to do it? Game & Watch's uh, new forward air, as we all know, is the bomb. It's better and it's worse as the back throw is going to delete Kofi off the screen. Uh, it's definitely better and it's definitely worse at the same time as the down smash to the up smash confirm gonna do it right there That move does now burrow you or bury you I should say which it did not do in any prior smash game uh, The forward air now it's the bomb the dropping bombs instead of the credit card if you hit game and watch while he is doing that attack The bomb will disappear and not go off oh. Just definitely not a good thing for uh, game and watch You know it's hard for him to use that forward air in a lot of situations if you have big enough hitboxes That can wind up beating it out or if you just wind up putting yourself in a position to be able to hit game and watch It's a, it's totally a different thing, but you already have Game & Watch with a one bucketed uh, PK Fire, but two bucketed PK wow. Fire, you already see him have one. He got one in like the first like 10 seconds of the match yeah, on the PK Fire, which makes that move, which is normally a safe option against like any other character in the game, a lot less safe in this one. Dude. Yeah, it is. And you know, he's still got the bucket on deck. Back throw, not gonna kill here, but I think that might make. That's three, and he almost lost his stock because of it right there. And now the PK Thunder two. And now all of a sudden, Dark Matter should be a little more apprehensive about just going for some of those. Dash Double attack, we down. see it right there. There, that's exactly why. Any move that puts Ness in a disadvantage, potentially a spot where Game Watch can punish, he's gonna be able to do that. Now he's gotta be a little more careful about throwing out these PK fires. Understanding exactly what Kofi wants to do, the game plan Kofi wants to go for here. He's gonna play a little more defensive, he's gonna read these PK fires, he's gonna eat them up, and he's gonna dump them back onto him. Dark Matter has to do some adjusting here. Despite the despite the percent lead, Dark Matter is the one that has to do some thinking here. Yeah, absolutely. To be able to bring this back, of course, uh, him with one of the best air dodges to be able to air dodge back to the stage, not forcing himself with PK Thunder. And the up smash, not going to do it, actually. Barely not killing, sending Dark Matter right to the blast zone, just giving it a little kiss. And you see him fishing for forward smash, down smash, up smash, pretty much any smash attack to try and take out the stock right now, knowing he can afford to because he has a whole stock, showing me things that I didn't even really know too much about Game & Watch. A jab confirm into a down tilt, actually making use for that move, which actually got nerfed. It has more lag than it did in the last game. They've increased the lag of Game & Watch's down tilt every Smash game he's been in since Really? Before. Yeah. Every single game, there's just like, okay, that move is too fast. Still too fast. Still, Still too, too fast. fast. Still too fast, apparently, all the way to ultimate. But I'm not sure if it matters how fast it is if he's, if he's able to get that kill confirmed with it out of a jab. Kofi teaching me some things about Game & Watch. I'll be honest. I didn't know he could do that. Neither neither could I. And yeah. uh, full disclosure, I apologize. I did not realize uh, Dark Matter was down to one stock. I did mention Dark Matter having a quote-unquote percent lead, but I did not realize the stock disadvantage there. But, you know, going I didn't back even to, hear you say it. Going back to... Chat did. Chat always does. Um, going back to what you were saying, yeah... <laughs> Kofi showing us some stuff at Game & Watch, and obviously some stuff that Dark Matter isn't showing either. He's going to continue with these PK fires, but, you know, uh, he, he's, he's just got to be a little more careful with them, you know? He needs to pick and choose his spots a little bit better. Um, Ness, Ness is very much uh, an old dog that's going to be hard to teach you tricks. Ness has a very, very particular play style. It's, yeah. very, it's very, very difficult. If you, a Ness in tournament is not the easiest thing to do. It takes a... Oh, too far away for that. He tried to uh, he tried to PK 
Thunder um, and make it back to the ledge. Just kind of let himself fall, but he just did it a little bit too quickly. And unfortunately, only 57% on the first stock here from Kofi. Dark Matter has to do a lot of digging here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be rough for him to try and be able to bring this back. And right now, Kofi just dropping his mixtape right towards Dark Matter. <laughs> Not just to hit him, he's actually trying to hit the PK Thunder as well for it to trade with it and actually get rid of the PK Thunder, which I'm not sure if it would do. I'm not sure if the PK Thunder goes through Game & Watch's bombs or not. Whoa. Oh, and the down, the back air into the uppy right there. Game & Watch has utilized that move so well. Not just in terms of recovering as the forward smash is going to do it, and Kofi looking poised to potentially take out Dark Matter right here, but also because the uppy goes insanely far. Game & Watch's recovery is definitely just... Not something to sleep on, but Dark Matter definitely sleeping a little bit right now. Kofi all over this man right now. Lapping him in percents and stocks and everything and still keeping him at disadvantage with all of these attacks. Dark Matter spirit seems to just be like a little crushed right now. This is to qualify for top 32 winner's side. Yeah, that's well. the thing. Yeah, it is still, it's so much respect. He's able to take that first stock there, but 74% on his last stock. Kofi can continue to do what he's doing. Dropping bombs, uh, continue to eat up these PK fires with the bucket. Um, so we haven't seen that as much of this game, but he hasn't really had to. Uh, Dark Matter with the unfortunate SD, the first stock, and that's afforded him a little bit of room to mix it up. And we're gonna see a back throw here. I think Dark Matter has been using it in situations where, like, you can't really react to it with the, with the bucket. You saw him, like, got, like, a bucket or two with the PK Thunder 1 off stage. That was a little different, you know? There was nothing he could really do about that to change that fact. But yeah, anyway, it's not as big of a factor. You see, he's using PK Thunder a lot close to him to the point where he can't really react with the bucket. Yep. So good stuff to Dark Matter on that front. But will it be the make or break? Will it make the difference for him that potentially take this game right here? He is sitting at 123 on his last stock while Kofi still has one more in the back throw. Not even going to get one or be able to grab. And the forward tilt is going to be able to do it. That is Kofi taking it 2-0 solidly over pretty, Dark Matter. Pretty convincingly as well. Yeah. You know, um... Unfortunately, Dark Matter, when he gets in a, in a high pressure situation, we have seen him commit some of those SDs um, that just immediately put him at a dis disadvantage. But, you know, even throwing that aside, um, Kofi's just knowledge of the character, Kofi's knowledge of the spacing.